Hello Capricorn and welcome to Blunt Sagittaria. My name is Robin and today we're going to be do your, doing your general reading for the month of August 2021. But as always Capricorn, tarot is timeless so this is for the weeding, or, or, sorry this reading is for the month of when you're guided to see it. It is also a general reading Capricorn so it may or may not resonate but if you are here and you are guided to this video I sure hope it resonates and there's a message for you. So how I do my readings is we do tarot, then we get some oracle advice, we get the outcome, and then at the very end we do a yes or no question. So if you have a yes or no question in your mind, think of it, send the energy my way, because at the end we'll get an answer for you, Capricorn. So let's get into the month of August, and let's see what's happening. We already have half the month out, and it looks like you're going to be starting your month with some choices. So let's get the rest of the cards and find out what is this choice that you are facing and i'm telling you it looks like it's a choice of love but we'll get into this as we get going here so we got one more week and somehow i'm so sorry I hate when my camera does that it it stops the setting in the middle of my thing and i don't know why i'm not a techie i'm a tarot reader <laughs> so let's get the last week here actually i think a card or two it flipped here yep And we have a couple more that flipped here, Capricorn. So, the overall energy and the overall theme on the bottom of your deck is the Knight of Wands. So this month is about passion, this month is about moving forward, and this month is about messages. So knights quickly come, they come in quickly, and they come in with messages of passion and love. So there's offers, there's messages, and as we see Capricorn, you start your month off with options and choices. So let's find out what this Seven of Cups is and get the ball rolling. What's going on with Capricorn here for the month of August? Clarify this Seven of Cups. What is this choice? The Seven of Rods. Okay. So I just want to get my number out. Um, okay. So Six of Cups, Four of Cups, Two of Rods, Seven of Rods. So this is a choice. So someone from your past Capricorn has returned. So they're going to be coming back. And they got you feeling some kind of way here. You got to make a choice as to whether you're going to accept the cup or focus on the cups they didn't give you in the past. So this person is someone that you thought could be your ultimate happiness. So you're still thinking about this. They could be your family. They could give you your white picket fence. They could give you um, your ultimate happiness. So the Knight of Cups is indicative of who this person is. It could be a Cancer, Scorpio, or a Pisces, but they're definitely going to be offering you their cup of love in the night. In the, in the night. I don't know why I said night. Maybe you'll be seeing this person in the evening. But they'll become Russian in this first week of August, and they're going to be telling you, Capricorn, that they want a new cycle. Whatever happened in the past is the past, and they want to move forward with you. And again, like I said, this got you feeling some kind of way. You're up in your emotions. I think it's unexpected. You didn't think that this would be um, something that was coming your way. And you're drowning with choices and options. But here in the second week, you're seeking clarity. So here you're feeling underneath the night, it's clarified by the four of swords. So you're missing this person. You're thinking about this person. You have a connection. You have a bond. You're tied to this person. There's definitely a history here. And you're wondering if they have changed. And you're curious. So you're doing your research. Has this person changed? You're researching them. You're stalking them on social media. You're checking your old messages. You're finding out more about them and to see if you want to offer them your loyalty, if you want to offer them the relationship, if you want to offer this person the world. But this person has to give you a give and take. I got a feeling here and what I'm seeing is in the past Capricorn, it was not a give and take. It was not a balanced situation, but they're offering it to you now. So they're holding out their page of pentacle. They're holding out their cup. They're telling you that they want to start again. And that has you very fearful and hurt. You don't know because this person hurt you in the past and you're unsure if you can move past this pain to have this new beginning. But they're offering you, we have the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. So in the first week, you think this person could be your ultimate happiness. And in the last week of August, you think the same thing. So this is somebody that you do see yourself having a family with. You do see yourself being loyal to. This is somebody that you want to offer your love to. You want to extend your heart chakra to this person. 
and you've bossed up here in the last week, if you have made your choice, Capricorn, and the choice that I see here, but we'll find out, is do you choose the Ace of Wands? Because this new beginning is present from this past person, this Knight of Cups here, and they want this new cycle with you. And really, I do see it's going to be up to you. Um, it's all about your choice, and that's how we start the month. And you end it with, do you have this new beginning, this passionate new beginning with this person? So I actually don't see anything that we need to clarify. I think it's pretty clear what's going to be happening in this month. It's really about you deciding whether you think this person has changed. Can you do a, a give and take? Can you get a balanced relationship with them? Huh. The angel of balance and journey, both in reversed. Card number 48 and two. Let's find out. As always, and if you've never been here with regards to the Oracle cards, I read from the book. I think the message is in here for you. I do not interpret them or tell you anything. I read what's here. So in this position, it comes with the warning that something is seriously out of proportion. It could be an important emotional component like the lack of self-acceptance or care. Remember that when you put yourself last, the universe does the same. Receiving this card reversed is a time of warning, calling you to relax more, sleep more, or just drink more water investigate how you may be out of balance in your time and energy regarding the externals and internal influences in your life. Um, this car, this angel can help bring you the courage and wisdom you need to break these toxic patterns. Meditate on the angel's presence and visualize her pouring a beautiful liquid light through your chakras, balancing them and bringing you to peace. Remember that you always have the power to bring peace back into your life. And I'm thinking this person... Maybe it wasn't such a peaceful relationship there, Capricorn, but they're telling you they want to change and you're, you're, you're trying to figure out if they can. So journey in reverse. You may desire or to move or just get away for a while, but the card in reverse could indicate a delay or a cancellation. Something could be standing in your way. Perhaps the line of communication could get crossed. Don't let the potential changes upset you. Refocus your energy and be flexible enough to alter your schedule or destination. Remember, you always create new, new adventures, even in the present location or situation. So it really doesn't matter where you are. You can always have fun and create the adventure you seek, Capricorn. All right, so what do you have to surrender to in the month of August in this choice, in these decisions? Surrender to your fear of intimacy. You are ready to let love in. Compassionately identify and begin to release any patterns that stopped you from opening your heart. And we definitely see that. So that's, um, you're fearful. You've been hurt in the past and you're definitely fearful. So let's see what advice my cards got for you, Capricorn. We got two here. You will experience the same cycle until you learn your lesson. And a third party is involved. So do your research. That's not going to be for everybody, but I do believe this is for the majority of you here. You're going to experience the same cycle until you learn your lesson. Did they change or did they not? And... It's up to you to see if they did or not. Do your research before you make any choices. That's what this page of swords is telling you, Capricorn. So what do the romance oracle cards have to say? It's definitely about a romantic partner. A heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. Don't hold back. So Cap Cappy, let's see what the tarot has to say. What else do you want to say to Capricorn? What advice? What words? What does Capricorn need to know for the month of August? This one came up first. Ah, the Four of Cups again. And the Four of Pentacles. And the Three of Cups. Yeah. Okay, the Five of Wands. And the Ten of Cups. Okay. So let's pull these cards up so we can read them. So for those of you who are worried about a third party, you do know that they're there, but you can't hold back. You have to tell this person that you're, your insecurities about it, your feelings about it, your pain. It's been an internal struggle. And yes, when you have this heart to heart conversation, it's going to be a struggle. But that's how you get past the pain in order to develop your happy ending and your utmost happiness. Maybe you guys weren't committed. Maybe you were just dating. It's going to be different for all of you. Um... But if you want this reunion with this person, it is here. They are offering it to you. They're telling you that they want this new cycle and you can take their cup or you can focus on the third party. So do not hold back, Capricorn. You must 
have a heart to heart conversation and tell this person how you feel. Yeah, it's going to cause some internal struggle, some external struggle. But if you want your happiness and if you want your 10 of cups, if you want the ultimate abundance and love, you have to be honest about what they did. You cannot hold back. Holding back, it's not going to get you what you want. Okay. So let's see, what's the outcome? What do you choose to do, Capricorn? Let's find out. Of course, there's always free will and everyone will do something. Whoa, that came flying out. Everyone will do something different, but let's see here. So we have the Magician. We have the Tower. What else we got for the outcome? We have the Hermit. The High Priestess. That's too many. One more, please. The outcome for Capricorn. August of 2021. Here's the outcome. How's it going to end this month? One more. Oh, you gave me two more. So the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Wands. So we got the Magician. We got the Tower. We got the Hermit. We got the High Priestess. So notice one thing here, Capricorn. These are all major arcana which means major major change along with the ace of wands and the ace of swords so how does it end you have unexpectedly manifested what you want you've gone within there's still some lies and some mysteries here so you really do need to trust your intuition but you have manifested and i think it's unexpected that they you're going to go for this person um you are going to believe you've done your internal work you're trusting your intuition and your intuition's telling you to move forward passionately. You had the clarity that you need. And yeah, Capricorn, you do cho choose to go forward with this person. Um, and you don't expect to make that decision. So the month is a very unexpected month for you. You do have a passionate new beginning. And according to the cards, you've manifested this change and you have all of the elements to make that choice. And unexpected, unbeknownst to you, you don't think you're going to do it, but you do. You choose this passionate new beginning because of some truth that comes out. Could be per this cart to heart conversation. So that's what the cards show there, Capricorn. I hope that's what you want to hear. So whatever your question is, yes or no, send the energy my way. Please show us the answer to Capricorn's question, yes or no. The answer is no. So thank you so much, Capricorn, for watching. I hope this resonated. Good luck. Until next time.